all right so now let's talk about the salesforce architecture now when i say architecture i mean applications objects fields and relationships so now let's look at how salesforce models everything so that crm requirements can fit into purpose and can be easily scoped in salesforce so in salesforce you can create different applications now as you might recall the app launcher lets you open applications right your applications could be a sales application a service application a marketing application or some custom application that you might want to build right now this application will host a good chunk of objects right now there can be multiple objects in a single application and there can be one object as well so i just wanted to represent that multiple objects can be part of different applications as well as a single object can take part in multiple applications as well right so let's say you have a sales application you have created you can associate account object with the sales application as well as you can associate it with a service cloud application as well right similarly if you want to leverage contact as an object you could leverage it for the sales cloud related application or some custom application that you have built right so a single application hosts multiple objects and a single object can be part of multiple applications right now each object holds a set of fields and attributes that uniquely identify the object right now these fields can be fields that are associated to the object and there can be some attributes or relationships that associate the object with some other object right now let's understand how a spreadsheet looks like and how salesforce models that into a database now here i have a simple example of a job application use case wherein a job application would have parameters like application id application name dob and cgpa right now how does salesforce uh, convert this into a salesforce database right so come from a spreadsheet point of view the job application that you see is the entity right and this entity defines this particular table right now when i say this entity defines this particular table what i mean to say is 1091 sherlock homes is a row in the table which represents a record and application id application name date of birth and cgpa are attributes or rather fields that uniquely identify a particular job application record right now in salesforce job application would be an object all right application id name date of birth and cgpa would be fields and the two rows that you see 1091 and 1092 holding the information for sherlock holmes and deborah jemison these would be the actual records in the system all right